this giant. <laughs> Hello, snail. Oh, so many buttons. It's so tiny. Neville you market. Here we are, the last market before Christmas. See the cute swans behind me? How adorable are they? It is a foggy morning. Let's go see what treasures we can find. I bet it's gonna be amazing. Arriving at this mid-December market, I expected it to be very much the same as the last one at the end of November. After all, it was only three weeks ago. I couldn't have been more wrong. November's Navili Market was the busiest I've seen. The most vendors and the most visitors. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link here. But this one, surprisingly, was half empty. Being the week before Christmas, I was shocked to see any location half empty. Half the vendors, half the visitors. And the vendors that were present also had a reduced amount of product with them. This is always a giant market, even with that kind of reduction. So if you're planning a visit to Milan next winter, which market should you visit? November or December? Let's compare and be sure to catch our special announcement at the end of the video. If you're searching collectibles at this market, like little dinky cars or matchbox or other model cars, then really you could choose either November or December to visit. There are still plenty of little cars here in December. Don't worry. They're adorable. Home decor items like china can be found at both November and December markets. No worries there. Furniture can technically be found at both markets, but there is much more selection in November, so you might want to opt for that one if you are searching furniture. Hi everyone, it's Tammy. If you want to find Christmas ornaments or nativity sets at this market, November is the market you want, not December. There were so many beautiful Christmas specific items in the November market, but December has very few and it seems to be focused more on gift giving rather than decorating. If you are searching for vintage fashion at this market, the options are much more varied in November, but there are still plenty of winter coats and jackets here in December. I also found a few really good velvet vintage bags and leather gloves this time, and plenty of accessories in general. myself some good ribbons. Amazing. Oh, it snaps. Nice. If you're searching for linens, like tablecloths, bedspreads, etc., then you probably want to visit in November rather than December. The linen selection in December was quite a bit smaller than November.
studiare dieci ore al giorno. Si possono montare volendo anche senza colla perché è eh, sì, 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 sta bene lì vicino volendo al In our last video with Dr. Lori, one of the things we discussed was how to identify Murano glass. I'll put a link to that video here. Let's slow down this section just a little bit and see if we can quickly tell if these two pieces are a good buy or not. I just did quick Google searches on my phone to see what I could find out about these because realistically that's about all we would have time to do at the market before deciding to buy or not buy. The dolphin is just marked Murano. That little sticker says Murano. So we think it's from Murano, but I have seen a quick film on YouTube that claims that this is not the correct sticker. I don't know, it's just one source but we also don't know the maker of this. The vendor immediately reduced from 100 to 80 euros. Visually, the fins are disproportionately small to me, but the embedded white stripe is a nice detail. My quick search found similar dolphins all the way from 20 to 950 euros. Not much of a help at all. Everyone likes to make glass dolphins apparently. Without more info, this purchase would have to be just a personal decision. Let's look at the seal now. He has a very helpful label from V. Nason and Co. Quick search shows this maker previously worked for Vanini. That's good. This brand stopped producing around 2001, so no more of these will be made. If you like it, you have to buy vintage. Animal sculptures are one of the things they're known for. Also good, wonderful blue color. I was able to quickly find different colors of this seal for between 60 and 125. So the 90 euro price isn't a terrible price, but it's not a huge bargain either. Definitely negotiate. Di questo signora chiedo 90. Buongiorno, un caso. 90. Sì, sì, sì. Tutto. Bellissimo, in inglese. Sì. Quanto? Anche uh, questo? questo? Questo è Sevres, chiedo come ultimo prezzo 3,80. Per questo? Sì. Tre. Buongiorno, ah, Bellissimi. Sì, tutti, tutti bellissimi. Sì. Sì. Un bel prezzo, buono. Eh, sì. anni 30, eh, molto bello, è tenuto molto bene. Sì, Tutto bellissimo. Quello. Sì, sì, bellissimo. Contato, posso fare 30. Ah, 30. Costavano 45, 30 euro. Ah. Però guarda che 
25, via, sconciato. 25 euro. Bellissimo. Però guarda che qualità. Bellissimo. If you are searching for the 2023 dates for Mercatone del Antiquariato sul Naviglio Grande, ah, that's a long name. Remember, I always put the link to their website down in the description box. While you're down there, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be alerted when our next video is published. What's up per, per questi? Uh, 30, uh, everyone. Each one? Yes, 30. each one. Uh, okay. From Sardinia. From Sardinia. Okay. Yes. Bellissimo, grazie. This is new for me. Very Chateau Diaries with the twall sleeves here. Normally this vendor has the needlepoint bags, etc. It seems they're branching out. Here is another example of the needlepoint trend I was discussing with Dr. Lori in the last video. I'm seeing it everywhere, also in shops, mixed in with other art and gallery wall displays. It adds a nice little bit of dimension to an art collection on a wall. So cute. <gasps> so cute. Oh, no. Prezzo per questo? Alf. Te lo, glielo dice quel signore ah. lì. Alf. Eh, 70. Bellissimo.
prezzo per questo? 
Gigante! Quindi sì, siamo tutti di cuori, facciamo stasera facciamo un bel mascotte. Wow! That is so giant! Hello snail! We have a very special collaboration for our next video. We will be shopping with Aurora and her husband Fabiano from Vintage Weekends. They visit markets from their home in Venice, specializing a bit more on vintage fashion. Check out their channel at the link also in the description box below. And then check out our thrifting playlist for lots more vintage shopping. Again, thanks so much for shopping with me today.